Hi, welcome to Biostock. Alligator Bioscience has just released positive top-line data from a phase two trial assessing the CD40 agonist metazolimab in pancreatic cancer patients. Joining me in the studio to tell us more about these results is Alligator CEO, Søren Bragenholt. Welcome, Søren. Thanks, Michael. To round things out a little bit, uh, what is metazolimab exactly? And uh, could you tell us more about the phase two study design? Mm. Yeah, so um, that's a very good way, way to start. So metazolimab is a monoclonal antibody. It's a so-called agonistic monoclonal antibody that uh, targets a molecule called CD40. And by doing so, it activates part of the immune system that makes our body uh, attack and destroy tumors much more efficaciously. Mm. And uh, this mechanism is particularly lending itself to uh, cancers like pancreatic cancer. And in Optimize 1, which is a phase 2 study, mm. we're testing that uh, metazolimab's effect in patients with uh, metastatic pancreatic cancer, so those patients with the most advanced uh, disease. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, one of the key results from the study is 40% uh, overall response rate. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean exactly, and how does that compare to other studies in pancreatic yeah. cancer? Yeah. So, so that, that's, a, that's an important question. Mm -hmm. So pancreatic cancer uh, itself is, uh, is often diagnosed very late, meaning that uh, all studies show that approximately 20 to 25 percent of the patients uh, you simply don't have enough time to make uh, meaningful therapeutic interventions. Mm. Um, we have a response rate, uh, at, uh, at a confirmed response rate at, uh, at 40%, meaning that the patients have had two consecutive scans, CT scans, where the tumor has been reduced by more than 30%. Then we have uh, additional patients that have had a single scan uh, of 30% uh, of tumor reduction, bringing the so-called unconfirmed uh, response rate up to around, uh, around 50. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we have um, approximately a total of 80% on a 79% so-called uh, disease control rate. So that's the, those patients that have clinical benefit, but maybe not have a 30% uh, tumor reduction. Mm -hmm. So if, if you look at it, that's probably what you can expect in, uh, in pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. and, and when you compare with uh, other phase two trials, phase three trials, these numbers are within 35 to 45%, and, and I think metazolimab sort of uh, gets in, in, that, uh, in that mix very well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very important uh, result, absolutely. However, uh, during a recent uh, KOL uh, webinar that you had after you released these results, uh, the PI of the study, Dr. Zev Weinberg, uh, he describes the duration of response yeah. as the key result. Could yeah. you tell us more about that? Yeah, first of all, Sev is not a, a PI in the study. He's an independent consultant uh, to, uh, oh. to Alligator. But anyway, the, the, the study has been run, uh, run in Europe. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so, so the duration response is sort of a measure on those patients that have a reduction of, of 30% in their tumor. Mm -hmm. How long do they live before the tumor starts to regrow? That for chemotherapy alone is around half a year. Mm -hmm. So what metazolimab actually provides is six month additional life with tumor control. Mm -hmm. And that is in itself, of course, important. But in a, in a cancer like pancreatic cancer where the patients are very fragile, it's even uh, more important because it gives the patients a chance to recover, mm -hmm. rebound, and uh, probably carry that uh, health benefit with, if you can call it that, mm -hmm. uh, therapeutic benefit with them into their second line therapy. So we believe that this is a very exciting finding, mm -hmm. and we believe that it's going to uh, positively influence the overall survival, which, by the way, is already uh, three months better than you can expect with chemotherapy alone. So, so this also uh, in itself uh, validates the mechanism of action that we have hypothesized for, um, for metazolimab, namely the ability to stimulate the immune system to add uh, additional benefit on top of chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, you've reached the primary endpoint yeah. here for this phase two study. Yeah. Uh, the obvious question is what comes next? Yeah, uh, I, I, th I think that there's many things that comes next. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on. First of all, it, it's also worth remembering that we have more than 50% of the patients are still in the study, mm -hmm. meaning that they are still alive. Uh, and we, of course, need to continue the treatment with the, for these patients, and we need to, uh, to follow up on those that have 
discontinued treatment, but are still in the study. So we need to complete and finalize, uh, optimize one. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we had the very good dialogue with, uh, with the Food and Drug Administration, so the U.S. Uh, health authorities, um, laying out the path towards approval. How do we get the molecule fastest to the patients? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the key uh, outcomes of that meeting was that the regulators didn't see a need for a phase 2B study, mm -hmm. but believe that based on the optimized one, the completed study, we can move directly to phase 3. Mm -hmm which is good, that is less cost, that is uh, less time to, to market. And uh, as long as Alligator are the owners of metacellumab, we continue to invest in the program, uh, finalizing Optimize One, uh, uh, manufacturing process development, all, and all those things that are phase three enabling. So we'll focus very much on that. And of course, in, in the meantime, we are discussing with, uh, with potential partners uh, to, uh, to see if we can make a, a deal that will uh, be beneficial for, for Alligator, mm -hmm. for our shareholders, and also for the patients in the long run. Mm -hmm. Well, with, with all of this expected uh, coming up, um, do you have the financial resources to undertake this? So, so a phase three study uh, in itself is is probably somewhere. If you look at the studies, uh, the phase three studies in pancreatic cancer, it's somewhere between six and eight hundred patients. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> that is a significant investment, and and I think the 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 best way to maximize the value of metacellumab in pancreatic cancer and potentially other indications is to find a capable partner. Mm -hmm. And uh, and as I just alluded to, we are. Uh, in, uh, in, in a good way down in the discussions with, uh, with uh, some very uh, interested and interesting uh, potential partners. Mm. So do we have the resources to bring Mr. Salem up forward towards phase three mm -hmm. to minimize time to market and maximize value? Absolutely, and we're diligently pursuing that. But a phase three study is most uh, likely to be done by a partner. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, finally, you're, you're on a high right now, of course. Uh, how do you maintain that momentum and uh, what, what's coming in 2024 for Alligator? Yeah, I, I, th I think if we look a little bit beyond uh, metacellumab, then uh, there is a couple of, uh, of interesting molecules in the pipeline. So metacellumab is a CD40 agonist. Um, we are building a third generation uh, platform, so bispecific uh, CD40 molecules that are even better and potentially even safer than, uh, more safe than, uh, than metacellumab. These are in preclinical development. We are pushing uh, one or two of those forward. So that, that's sort of the longer term uh, uh, growth trajectory. Mm -hmm. And then we have our 527, which is a, a little bit of a different beast in, in this mm -hmm. discussion, but where we are currently conducting a phase one study with our partners in, uh, in Aptivo, and we expect to see uh, phase one's data uh, coming out during the first half of this year. Mm -hmm. So still a lot to do on metacellumab to bring that forward as fast as possible. A lot to do on the next wave of innovation, which we really believe is the long-term growth trajectory. Mm -hmm. And then we also need to uh, to finalize 527 uh, in, in the current phase one study. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely looking forward to see what Alligator has up its sleeve. Um, so uh, thanks, Soren, uh, for joining us in the studio today, and uh, congratulations again on the thank positive results. Yeah, thank you, Michael. It's always a pleasure.